very curious about this stuff. So, um, without more preambles, Dennis is going to talk about this right now. Uh, yeah, my name is Dennis Radin, and uh, I'm front end developer, as uh, many of you. The also I'm aviation lover. I think that uh, front end, being a front end developer is a real bliss, is the best job you can get. But the second one is a pilot. So yeah, I, I decided to bring uh, these two best jobs together a bit closer, and uh, you can see what we get. So. Yeah, JavaScript and HTML and chip building and aircraft industries is the future of web platform. And to predict the future, it's always good to take some lessons from, from the past. And if you do that, we see that solid thread of unification and standardization goes through whole mankind's history. And the unification is an effective method to decrease diversity blah 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 blah, building strict systems which is comfortable to use. So, yeah, in every field of human activity we are building something which is very good to use, uh, we are accumulating best practices, but in the beginning we making a lot of crap. And, uh, yeah, because nobody knows how to do the right things, good things, so a lot of variations of Sheep were produced in any field of, in any technological field, in any field of science, and so on. So we can look how it was in the beginning in, in the aviation. <laughs> and compare it to software development. <laughs> <laughs> this one looks like Adobe Flex. <laughs> <laughs> Silver light, and a good try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was very dangerous. Uh, main as primary language to, to describe UI. 
the, yeah, here is the list, it's probably not complete, but uh, a lot of the TZ, Firefox, or Smart TVs, um, Google, uh, Google Chrome OS, Windows 8, so yeah, we are moving to the unification of UI development. And uh, it's, uh, as you see, it's uh, quite common in every field of activity. And HTML JavaScript is really good enough to expand its limits. Well, it's good because uh, for first, it allows to move responsibility from developer to a browser core for responsibility for rendering. So we'll have less uh, code to test because browser core is well tested and uh, also it allows to shorten development cycle. And for aircraft industry, shortening uh, development cycle is highly valuable because yeah, it's uh, you, you you can't imagine which uh, uh, demands uh, to reliability are there. So yeah, let's move to uh, HTML, JavaScript, Drive, and FX. It's Electronic Flight Instrument System. How a uh, typical FX look like? Like it's uh, yeah, it's a uh, few displays with some interfaces on them. So, n nothing military, in fact, it's n nothing unusual. Everybody can do this. Uh, I suppose there is no problem for you to build a, like, something like this with canvas or even such thing or uh, no, whatever. So, ju just a set of displays with some UI. The same for shipbuilding. They have, uh, uh, nowadays they use uh, same displays as well. So can be applicable for shipbuilding. Yes, let's take a look at why we need this uh, because uh, it, it, this talk was prepared for long and uh, I just uh, had an intention to move out just of uh, let's imagine. No, let's just uh, to do this thing because it's really things that matters. It can be highly valuable. So justification. Uh, as I said, we can move responsibility to a browser core and uh, yeah, to make a bit more reliable software. The same things already happened on server side with Java. When server side moved from C++ to Java, it became more reliable, more cheap. In fact, and uh, yeah, so it allows to build more reliable software. Uh, second one is great thing that nowadays. We have a lot of a lot of drones evolving, a lot of startups, a lot of military projects, which have uh, had a name for building a drone. So having a better network accessibility, HTML, JavaScript, affixes are highly valuable nowadays. Yeah, we can use them for for remote control of drones. And so. Shorter development cycle is a thing which manager likes most of all, not developers, but still is very, very valuable for aircraft industry. You have less code to test and uh, yeah, it will be faster, of course. So you can imagine, and you, you probably, if you already have some experience with native, uh, with, with native experience, and you can compare it to JavaScript development, uh, for example iOS development with JavaScript, so it's much faster to develop with JavaScript. New Horizons and uh, Point, which is not not uh, very big, so it's not only new terror opportunities for, for, for us, it's not a uh, new business for our employers, like for outsourcing companies or whatever. Uh, it's also could be a step for creating a new kind of market. Uh, probably we can, we can try to look at this once more and imagine that all the stuff could be delivered by different different uh, service providers, different components providers. Nowadays uh, it's built with uh, aircraft and it's specific to aircraft, but it could be a bit uh, produced in a more competitive uh, manner. So, yeah, so we'll have better UIs, better components to, to create a new market. As uh, we have an, uh, for smartphones, 
as we are going to have for cars, as I remember Tesla is trying to do that. Uh, okay, so probably we have a lot of a lot of points of justification, at least to start thinking about it. So we can move to some problematic stuff and to some demos. Uh, yes, more flexible layouts. So we are not using uh, C++ anymore. We are not using C or something uh, uh, something for making a markup. We are using a uh, highly available, highly, highly flexible uh, HTML, and this makes it very simple to make flexible your eyes. Uh, uh, not only in form like we saw here, any kind of. So simplest example is just. Uh, Just a set of these, everybody can do this. Just a set of these with uh, some ideas. Uh, yeah, this is also uh, these wells are justifications. So we can deploy to this uh, cells of uh, layout, we can deploy components which could be developed by third party companies. And it could look like, like this. Yes, just some components uh, being deployed into some cells or similar cells. Nothing, nothing new for us, but it's it's quite new to for, for industry such level of flexibility and uh, ability to deploy the other components. Okay, uh, more interactivity, uh, what does it mean? It means that uh, nowadays uh, FE's industry is quite conservative because of demands to, for, for reliability. Uh, developers could not experiment a lot with interactivity, with transitions, but we have well tested CSS and well tested HTML so we can. Uh, for example, some palette uh, have a common fly, but the uh, rest it becomes worse. So now primary information for him becomes a uh, rather, not, not navigation, but rather. So yeah, it could be done very easily with CSS transitions. Could be touch device, touch sensor panel, or whatever. Uh, yeah. Sensors data. Yeah. You may ask uh, where we'll get all this information about, about weather, how can we build this uh, uh, components and uh, yeah, gather information. Uh, yeah, sure, it's the same. It, it can be word scan, but uh, it's a scan we are using in uh, phone gap already. <coughs> and uh, it's quite simple in fact. There is uh, some kind of data storage where sensors are sending the data, and probably it could be built with Node.js, but at the moment I don't believe Node.js as well uh, to, to give it a chance to to comment the air, airplane. You know? Node.js and airplanes still some wonder for me, but maybe it's not. Require okay, ways. so yeah, uh, how it looks like from pers from top perspective? Yeah, getting an altitude. Just we ask for sensor data, altitude sensor, altitude, coordinates, almost the same. So it's really similar to phone gap, phone gap approach, and uh, nothing is there. Okay, we know a lot, a lot of theory. Now we can build artificial horizon, altitude indicator. Uh, first of all, we have to choose between whole stack of HTML, CSS technologies like Canvas, WebGL, and CSS. Um, so we have only few moving parts. No keyframe animations like you we have in games. And what we need is smooth indication of two values. So let's proceed with absolutely positioning these. And CSS transitions. Yeah, it's enough. These and transitions, why not? 
Uh, yeah, sure, we want to, to for, for this uh, instrument to be as performant as possible, we want to avoid uh, dialogues or some errors or uh, whatever. So, uh, yeah, we'll use CSS transition with uh, GPU transformations. As, uh, as you know, there are some freaks now in browsers, maybe there will be some uh, better approaches to apply this so called, so -called translate that freak to have smoother, smoother transitions and uh, yeah, so hard work duration small as possible amount of DOM modifications to avoid dialogues and avoid memory leaks to avoid restarting computer and then playing your it's applied I'm not like to do that uh, before we saw example of uh, Component constructor and this one have two arguments. CSS selector to specify a cell in layout, at this layout to deploy uh, component. And second one will be uh, is shows will we use uh, orientation API from device. It's needed to be compatible with uh, just common. Mac or whatever have uh, acceleration sensor. So yeah, let's move to demo.
it's, it's, it's only about UI, you know? In terms of uh, algorithmic calculations of autopilot, of uh, dating right route and so on, hey, it, 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 uh, it matters. But for pilots, milliseconds, uh, I'm sure they're not. And uh, I suppose you will compare the time which uh, JavaScript needs to, to update interface. It will be mu much less than time we need to react and something. So for you, I, I suppose there is no problem to use it. Uh, there was a question behind you, probably. Um, you mentioned short, short development cycles comparing to C and C++. I was wondering, how much of a speed gain is there in mean, the as a development cycle? Uh, you know, it's a thing, it still uh, should be researched and uh, I'm not sure, so I can't answer you uh, exactly but uh, from my experience it's, uh, it's a lot to, to because of memory management, because of uh, some type errors and so on and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's proved uh, with uh, moving to Java in several sites uh, uh, I'm curious about um, how much the, the industry is actually pulling because you, you made a beautiful demo, it's 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 compelling, it's convincing. Uh, it, it but um, relating to the previous question, uh, it, it wasn't really about uh, a reaction time, it wasn't really about real time, it was more about reliability. In the industry, they have their lines of code which they control, uh, which they have been debugging for decades. And suddenly we're Web stacks, web kits, all sorts of uh, uh, libraries which are from an external party. How are uh, Airbus and Boeing going to uh, assess the reliability and, and the support and troubleshoot? And, uh, yeah, yeah, so new layers and also transparent as it was before. Yeah, I understand, but uh, you know, it's the only question of trust. It's a, it's a, it's a trust is the only thing that matters here. Because, uh, uh, in, in, in the beginning of the 90s, nobody could believe that somebody of uh, know, serious companies will choose Java, this Java machine and uh, all this stuff. So it's just, uh, let's think about it, just like uh, about one more Java machine, just for your eye. So uh, I was playing this Cessna from the Lady Study Report. It's not that expensive, you can like pay 85 euros and fly it. And I thought maybe you could like create a, a simple application on iPhone or take an Android account and test this, uh, how do you call this uh, widget that shows you the horizon? Yeah, sure, I'm going to do that and I'm going to come back. You can back. your life on that. I mean, it's really reliable and that will be the answer to all of my voices. Yeah. 
mechanic errors and uh, mechanic uh, stuff. So. And, and then, if we include uh, the JavaScript, we include even the is but. So, uh, I mean, in, in uh, security reason, we will be able to hack our 2.747 with just five bytes. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about network stuff, I'm not talking about uh, pushing a circuit dial or something like that there, or pushing a terminal, just about UI. Try to, 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 to hack a Google Chrome. It, it's impossible from outside if you're not connected to internet. It's, uh, I think you can hack uh, Boeing. Uh, yes, you can. Just by placing magnet on yes. so. <laughs> it's not that difficult, it's mechanics. So.
just a spare part. <laughs> Thank you.